Welcome back to another swimming video. <laughs> yes, you heard me right. This is going to be a swimming only channel since most of the views and comments and interaction comes from people who are interested primarily in swimming. So I made a decision recently to make this channel just swimming focused, but not to worry if you're interested in other topics that I've made previously like fitness or guitar or Korean or vlogging or self-help. Don't worry, okay? I am making separate channels for those topics. I'm just filming those and preparing those right now. So just give it some time. I will give you some updates and announcements in the future. But for now, let's stick to swimming, okay? So let's get to the meat of this topic. The topic of this video is called the five second rule when it comes to swimming. Recently, I tried out a new pool. I looked at all the reviews online and everyone was saying it was great and awesome and it's a brand new facility. So I thought I'd check it out. And man, was I disappointed, okay? This pool, I don't know who runs the show there, but they are really bad when it comes to management and especially when it comes to the lanes. I kid you not, I was sharing a lane, a fast lane with more than 10 people in it. It actually felt more like 15, pe 15 people in that very little narrow lane. I want to make this video to help clarify something that most pools don't tell you about. It's an unspoken rule and I call it the five second rule. Now, what is the five second rule? Well, basically, it goes like this. If you're only lap swimming, this doesn't pertain to like you're, you're playing in the ocean or you're in a kiddie pool or you're at a wave pool or a leisure pool, okay? This rule does not apply to that. This rule only applies to lap swimming only, okay? When you're in a lane, this is the rule that every swimmer must understand and respect. Once you are in a lane, you must commit to swimming continuous laps. Duh! Does it make sense? It's very simple. But I kid you not, this lane that I was sharing, most of these people were just doing this in the lane. They were just standing there doing this. <laughs> they weren't swimming. They would swim like one lap or two laps and then stop. And they just stand there like an idiot in the lane. And they were like, five of these people on each end doing this. For me, when I do my laps, I swim continuously. I don't stop. I do hundreds and hundreds of laps back and forth if I can. But if I'm in a situation where I have, if I'm sharing a lane with other swimmers, I have to deal with this occurrence every time. I have to wait for the people in front of me to go or else I have to ask them, are you going to go? When are you going to go? Go! This happens at every pool that I've stumbled upon. I mean, this pool in particular was really bad in terms of just the management there. Like the lifeguards, the pool staff, they should have had something set up, a system set up in order to, to prevent something like this disaster from happening. Because I would swim one lap and there were five other people in front of me waiting to go and they didn't go, they're just standing there like idiots. I swim to the other end, again, there's like five guys just standing there. I don't know when they're gonna go, what's on their mind. They're just standing there. So this is why the five second rule is so important. So when you are in a lane, you have to start swimming within five seconds. If you don't swim within five seconds, you have to get out, okay? And this rule starts once you are at the end of a pool. Someone goes in front of you, you wait five seconds for that guy. Okay, so you don't tailgate that guy once he goes off. I mean, that, that's totally rude. You don't do that when you're driving, you shouldn't do it when you're swimming. So, the guy in front of you, when he pushes off the wall, you count five seconds and then you go. The guy in front of me, he pushes off the wall, I count in my head. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000, then I go. All right, that's enough distance, enough space between me and him so that we can swim in an optimal manner. It's longer than five seconds, then you need to get out. Take a break, you can get out of the water. You can go in the hot tub, sit on the bench, sit on a chair, catch your breath, do whatever, do whatever it is that you have to do 
outside of the water is what I'm saying. You don't have to do it in the lane and just crowding the lane up and just making it very difficult for people like me that want to swim continuously. You're just, you're just ruining it for the rest of us. So when I need to take a break, I don't stand in that lane and just like do nothing while other people swim in front of me, no. I know better than that. I have to be more respectful and more courteous. I know I have, to, I have to value other people's space. So what I do is, if it's longer than five seconds, I get out. I get out, I go grab some water, I got a hot tub, whatever. Whatever it is that I have to do to catch my breath. I get physically, take my body out of the, the lane. Even if it's more than five seconds, I have this habit where I'll just take my body and my legs out of the water. I'll just sit on the deck with my legs on the deck, all right? I'll just remove myself because I don't want to get in the way of other swimmers. That's just the courtesy that I give to others. I don't know what the hell are they doing there. I don't know what, what kind of training they do. They just swim one lap and take a break for 10 minutes. Swim one lap, take another 10 minute break. I mean, what is, what is it that you're supposed to be doing here? I mean, lap swimming is continuous, okay? Most of us are setting a goal for ourselves to do more than one lap continuously. And if you don't know what you're doing, then maybe you need to take lessons, 7dayswim.co, or you need to improve your health or your breathing technique, whatever, okay? To help you understand my perspective. I want you to compare lap swimming to driving on a highway. Okay, so we all understand. If you, if you drive on a highway, then you'll understand what I'm talking about when it comes to lap swimming. When you're driving on a highway, you have to commit. Once you enter that highway, you have to commit to a certain speed, you have to go with the flow of the traffic, and you just have to keep going, going, going. You don't stop. If you have to stop, you take the off-ramp, and you get out of that situation. You get off the highway. That makes sense, right? Now, what if, what if, someone was driving on the highway and then they got tired or they ran they just, just decided they needed a break so they just parked the car right in the middle of the highway just turn off the engine park the car in the middle of the highway for like 10 minutes of course that's going to cause a lot of catastrophe cause a lot of accidents a lot of disturbance in the traffic but that's what it feels like for me when i'm sharing lanes with people that are just standing there doing nothing make way for people like you and i that want to keep going five seconds count in your head next time one one thousand two one thousand three one thousand four one thousand five one thousand if you go beyond the five thousand mark or five second mark you get out of the water that means you just need to take a break you need your body is telling you something then just listen to your body that's cool just get out of the water make way for other swimmers the situation was so bad when i was swimming in this pool I was swimming just like one lap here, one lap there, one lap. I was like, what the hell is this? So what I did was I was so frustrated and I kid you not, there were just so many people just breaking the rules, break pool rules. Like they were swimming without goggles. They were swimming without swim caps. They were swimming without bathing suits. They were wearing t Some of the people were wearing t-shirts. They didn't know what the hell they're doing. Some people were just lounging around with their girlfriend or boyfriend at the deep end, just hanging out, just laughing, yakking in the lanes. And the lifeguards did nothing, did nothing. That's what I call poor management. So I got out and yeah, I got my money back. I demanded a refund. I told the, the cashier, I, I couldn't swim any laps here. You have a lap pool, but nobody's swimming in it. Everyone's just hanging out on each end. You gotta enforce these rules. It's just like a highway. You got to go with the flow of the traffic. And if the traffic is doing this, going from A to B, B to A, continuously nonstop, there's no room for people like these guys just parking in the middle of the highway. I kid you not, I deal with this on a daily basis for more than 20 years, all right? So I hope that if you watch this video, you will understand the unspoken rules of the pool. And one of these rules is the five second rule. It's just common courtesy, you know? A lot of people just lack it these days, even the lifeguards. So it makes me shocked. <laughs> okay, so I'm never going back to that pool, that's for sure. And I hope this video changes your mind 
when it comes to lap swimming, okay? You go, you commit. You commit to the highway, you commit to the laps, you keep going, non-stop. And then get out, okay? By the way, if you don't know how to swim, guess what? I have an online course, okay? I can help you out no matter where you are in the world. It's called 7 dayswimco Click the link down below, get instant access to the best swimming course out there that gives you the game plan. Just teaches you step by step how to start swimming, okay? It works on your breathing, works on your propulsion, works on your arms, works on your technique. Everything you need to know in order to get started from the ground up, okay? No guessing, it's just there. You just watch the videos that I laid out in this course and it, it will teach you how to swim. So it will save you time, save you money, save you stress, okay? You can learn this thing, this art we call swimming on your own. And please, please learn this art because I want less idiots to swim along next to every time I go to the pool. Okay, it's my dream to swim with more intelligent swimmers, people that know the, the rules of a pool more than what I'm dealing with these days, okay? Be a better swimmer, sign up, click the link down below, 7dayswim.co. Be a better swimmer, and don't park your car on the highway, okay? <laughs> And if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, like this video, hit the bell, bing! And I'll see you next time. Bye bye!